Please clarify. I'm currently reading The Golden Bow by James George Fraser. Once again, I face the fact that a woman during her menstrual period is considered dirty. But I never found the reasons for such a negative attitude towards the normal functioning of the female body. What is the primary cause to consider that a woman is dirty during her menstrual bleeding? I do suppose that it might be a sort of injection, something like Paracelsus's hygiene. No, it's not quite right. The fact is that this long-standing belief still remains among many archaic folks who live this far in this kind of a, let's say, tribal, primitive communal system. Such tribes still exist and are actually doing all right, in places like Africa, South America and some locations of Hindustan. They practically all believe the same thing. A woman is considered unclean during her period because she becomes incomprehensible, as it is actually considered that she is dying, and touching a dead body and touching death are considered unclean among all folks, with a few exceptions. But of course this belief was developed to its maximum and up to annihilation of the feminine precisely among Semitic tribes. And we could find explanations for this in things such as the hot climate or the spreading of pathogenic diseases or in the fact that a woman during her period is unclean for a man as he can't get intimate with her without the threat of catching some quite unpleasant disease that is most active precisely in this period. As a woman's blood is a perfect biological environment for any kind of pathogenic flora. And in a hot climate all of this spreads just amazingly. But this, of course, would be just some kind of scientific biological explanation. Our unwashed ancestors were certainly unaware of these things, but nevertheless suspected something similar. Because they knew that if you get intimate with a woman during her regular bleeding, you could feel a little bad for a while, or perhaps even fall out after it. This is what was generally noticed by the human eye. Maybe that's why later, when monotheistic religions were formed, this belief, because it was merely a belief at that time, turned to a cult, for an entire theosophy that destroyed matriarchy developed around this theme. This simply became just another tool to destroy matriarchy. In this regard, I would recommend you a great work by the author Ivanov called Madonna's Civilization. Read it. There is a great collection of facts about how it all developed during the pre-Christian period, the Middle Ages, and then later during the Renaissance. How the patriarchal system destroyed this civilization and how matriarchy fought its way through patriarchal anger despite everything. You will gain a lot of interesting information from this book. Another book that is quite good is titled The Most Amazing Sexual Rituals. Unfortunately, I can't remember the author, but we will possibly make a note on this book on our forum. Just like in Fraser's book, there is a great collection of information related to blood and death and everything connected to it, from the point of view of the ancient pagan rituals, the ancient archaic rituals. You can pick a lot of information from there, it is very ancient knowledge. I repeat, a biological explanation generally lies on the surface, and based on it every folk would create a theistic explanation which would be supported either by simple examples, such as it is not pleasing to the Lord, or would state that a woman's blood attracts spirits, for example, evil spirits that feed on blood and a woman during her period enters into intimate contact with such evil spirits. And if a man approaches her, then evil spirits will get jealous and kill this man. There were explanations like that too. Thus every folk would give their own explanation to the biological effect as well as to the religious one. Subsequently, this explanation, and I repeat myself, was overgrown with a cult, with logical explanations within the religious system dominating at the moment. So I hope that I've explained this clearly enough. 
Actually, the spirit's explanation is the most precise from the point of view of a witch's view of the world. During her menstrual period, a woman opens up to forces that usually can't approach her if she, for example, wears a cross. But they can do so during her period. This is why witches would use their monthly blood either to feed their own spirits or for other witchcraft practices, and they didn't limit themselves in that. Here I'll recommend you another book by the author Michelet called The Witch of the Middle Ages. That is a beautiful work that describes how it all happens within a witch's consciousness. Как это происходит в сознании ведьм.